Hi, this is Tom here from Breeze Catcher Clown Stars. We just put this video together to show our customers the easiest way to install one of our Roti clothes lines. Uh, we'll be installing a TS4140 here, and uh, as you can see, we've started with a precast concrete block. We put this together a couple of days before the job and let it set so that it becomes nice and solid. And this will make it a lot easier to get the dryer straight and level and definitely make the install easier to, to do. So what you need to do is you need to go down to your local builders provider's home depot store or somewhere like that and pick up a breeze block or as we call them here a cavity block. It measures about eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches square and is about the same in depth and the center of the block is hollow. And you'll also need to pick up a bag of 25 kilo bag of quick set post creep. This is a mix of sand and cement that has a fast setting agent in it, so it hardens off very, very quickly. Now, the idea is to cement the socket into this block and let that set. So you mix up a small quantity of the fast set post creep and fill in the center of the block and plant the socket into that. Now, the, the bottom of the socket is open. It's actually open on both ends. Uh, the, the bottom end is open to allow any rain water that might accumulate to drain away into the soil. So what you need to do is you need to just cover up the end of the socket. We use a bit of the soft packaging that comes with the dryer and we fill in the end of the socket with that. So that will prevent any cement creeping in into that when the block is setting off. The end of the, the socket should be level with the end of the block and um, you just leave that then, get it nice and centered, get it as straight as you can within the block and leave it then for a day or two and let it go nice and solid. Now find a spot in the garden where you are going to install the rotary clothesline and place the block on that spot. You can use the block to measure out how much sod you need to remove. We recommend at least an inch on every side larger, so about 11 inches square would be enough. You can remove the sod and put it to one side because we're going to replant that after we place the block in the ground. Depth of the hole should be at least 14 inches. Before placing the precast concrete block in the ground, be sure to remove any packaging that you used to fill the center of the socket. We will be using the fast set post creep to fill in around the sides of the cavity block once we have it in the ground. Now we also need to create a drainage area below the, the concrete base so you can use a block as seen here which has holes in the center. The precast concrete block will sit on that and it will line up with the center of the socket and that will allow any water to drain away through the base. You can also use some, some gravel in the bottom of the hole instead of if you don't have a block like we have there. You can use gravel and you need to fill it to the level so that when you place the concrete block, the precast concrete block with the socket sitting on that, the rim of the socket has to be about an inch below the level of the lawn. And that will allow the lawnmower to pass over without obstruction. We've used a 
round straight crowbar here and we roll it across the top of the, the block making sure that we have at least an inch clearance. Now we can start filling in around the side of the block using the uh, post creek mix. Uh, using plenty of water, prime the base of the hole with it for liters of water. Pour in the post creek, making sure it goes down around all the sides. Important to keep the top of the socket covered to prevent any grit entering into the socket. Now gradually add more water and more post creep filling in around all of the edges. Now we can stand the roach clothesline in the socket and stand back and check the levels, uh, make any adjustments that might be necessary. You can see here how we can maneuver the block to adjust the position. Now open out the clothesline. And use a spirit level to check the level of the center pole. We need to check it in two directions from the front and from the side, making any adjustments that might be necessary. And be careful not to stand on your phone.
one final check make sure everything is nice and straight give the base more some more water and you can replace the sod we saved earlier on just slice it down the center and place it back in the hole around the main pole of the drawer give it plenty of water and firm it down so that it becomes level with the rest of the lawn and that'll finish off the job nicely the dryer can be used then the next day thank you for watching